Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we worked with uh, multiple panels and we are inside the app. We are not logged in and we have redirected to the login page. Also if I go to the admin panel, we redirect to the login page. But here we have admin slash login and if I navigate to the app, we redirect to app slash login. Now if I want to register a new user, we don't have the register page and that's what I'm going to do in this video. I want to create also the register page and I'm going to remove the admin login page. So I'm going to have only the login page inside the app and also the app panel is going to be the default one. So let us start and work with that. I'm going to open first the app panel provider and then Let's open the admin panel provider in here. Okay, now the admin panel provider is a default one, so I'm going to remove this. Also, I want to remove the login inside the admin. I would want to have only one login page inside this panel, and this one is going to be also a default one. And uh, I'm going to remove also from the admin the auth middleware okay let's save here and now inside the app i'm going to chain the registration method if i chain that and save let's come here and take a look to the form here if i refresh now we have a new link sign up for a new account and if i click we navigate to the register page with the register for name, email, password, and password confirmation. If I navigate to the admin users, yeah, we have this error because I removed the auth middleware. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now, this one, and let's go and create a new user. I have made uh, artisan migrate fresh, so we have only the user created from the database seeder now let's create a new one let's say test user with a test at test.com and the password and here password sign up and now let's register a new team let's say test team and test team sign up okay we are directed to the app very good here is the team we can create a new team or team profile here now what I want, if I want to navigate to the admin, instead of go and change the URL, I want to have a link here on the user's uh, menu here. We have the link to sign out. I want also the link to navigate to the admin. So for that, let's go and I'm going to chain right here a new method, which is going to be the user menu items. And here accept an array. So let's add an array here and let's create a new item. So we can say menu item and call the static make method. And here I'm going to give it a label. So let's change label here and I'm going to say admin. Also we can add an icon. I'm going to paste this icon here. And now we need also to add the URL. So let's say URL and for the URL I'm going to say slash admin. Okay, if I save this and let's see on the browser we are inside the app panel refresh. If I click here we have the admin and if I click we navigate to the admin dashboard. Now the same I want to have the link to navigate to the app. For that I'm going to do the same thing also inside the admin panel. So let's copy that and let's paste it right here. We need to import the user, the menu items. And here we say make. Now I'm going to change the label from admin to be a dashboard. Okay. I'm going to leave the arrow icon the same and just change the URL to be slash app. If I save this, 
come here and refresh we are inside the admin panel and yeah we have dashboard here let's click we navigate the dashboard good now if i click here and as you can see here this is now clickable if you want you can also chain a new method so here we have a registration i'm going to chain the profile method and if i click here and refresh now as you can see the profile is a link if i click we navigate to the app profile and we can change the name the email and also add in a new password also you can customize this page and i have created a video about that but if you want you can go to the filament documentation and read more inside the panel builder users section okay one more thing here in this video is i want to show this admin link only if the user is an admin right now this user is a test user so i want to hide from this one how to do that let's close now the admin panel provider and here when we have this menu make menu item make we can chain a new method here and say hidden or visible which accept a boolean closure and i'm going to add fn here a closure we can return boolean and i'm going to say if the authenticated user is admin is admin now we don't have this method so we we are going to create this one let's save and let's open the user model and let's create a new method here so just public function is admin just return boolean and i'm going to say return if this email is triple equal to admin at example dot com okay if i save this come here and refresh click we don't see that admin link let's sign out and let's sign in with the admin example.com pass in the password sign in create a new team so let's say laravel team and also laravel slug okay now we are as admin and you can see we have the admin link and we can navigate here okay friends that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best